we will see another example of restricting degrees of freedom and here instead of one hole we are having two holes in the workpiece that we are locating so there are two holes and the fixture base or uh, the base of the jig has two pins that are press fit into into the body of the fixture or jig so we have two pins here and again the diameter of the hole will be slightly larger than diameter of the pins so we are locating the workpiece through holes that is a recommended method of locating a workpiece in fixtures and jigs and primary locating uh, element are the pins and secondary uh, locating element is this base of the fixture or jig so can the part move in linear x axis no it cannot what about linear y so it can move upward still it can move upward but it cannot move downward and it cannot move in the z direction as well rotation along the x axis is not permitted and important point here is to consider the rotation along the y axis now because of the second pin the workpiece cannot rotate along the y axis as well and same is true about the z axis so only one degree of freedom that is linear movement in y axis upward movement is not restricted and remaining 11 degrees of freedom are restricted by locating the workpiece through two holes one question that i will leave for you is that will anything change if the second pin was a diamond pin instead of a round pin and what should we consider actually regarding the the size of the diamond pin as well but using two round pins 11 out of 12 degrees of freedom are restricted so i hope now the concept of 12 degrees of freedom and how they are restricted in jigs and fixtures is clear thank you very much